hello students uh, we have already done the practical practical one to practical six seven we have done about the basic networking wiring different types of networking devices then we have discussed about the router <coughs> we have discussed about the router static routing and dynamic routing right now today we have the topic uh, we're going to discuss three types of server right now these servers are related to your application layer uh, what we are going to discuss first we are going to discuss about the server uh, with the name of DHCP server right now uh, wait. I think it's visible now right now DHCP server DHCP server stands for the dynamic host host configuration protocol what this protocol will do uh, normally when we uh, start with the packet tracer we go on to the node or we go on to any type of devices we need to give the static IP over there I hope you understand the term IP address that is uh, network address now dynamic host configuration protocol what it will do it will create a server now this server has a pool of IP addresses what we can do we can create a server and this server has pool of IP addresses now when we go to the any node connected to that uh, network and who has DSCP enabled devices uh, or whose DSCP is enabled it will automatically assign an IP to that particular node well, when we do the practical it is more clear then next up we have the DNS DNS stands for the domain name server domain name server now what domain name server do let's say we type www.google.com actually uh, every server has some kind of IP address right so domain name server what it will do it will convert this google.com into the IP that is assigned to the google server when we type the yahoo.com yahoo has some kind of IP address its server has some kind of IP address it will convert that yahoo into that particular IP address assigned to that particular server then we have the mail server now what mail server will do it mail server uh, it will keep track of let's say we will create an email gmail yahoo now every gmail or yahoo they have a server they're gonna uh, maintain all the username and password related to any gmail or any yahoo mail today we are going to create all these servers dscp dns and mail right now we're gonna start with the packet tracer i hope you you are aware with this term okay now uh, this is the logical blank space we're gonna start now what we can do we can start with the networking device and we have the switches and i have assigned a switch over there all right now then we have assigned uh, we have the end devices we're gonna assign the devices for that I'll take three devices one two and three now what is new in that I have taken a servers let's I'll take three servers right I'm gonna name them for server this I can configure it DSCP server DSCP we have already discussed and we cost configuration protocol that could be taken as DNS server now that third server that third server will be taken as mail server right now that that rest are the simple PC now we're gonna create the connection with them as we are using this switch only there's no need to configure it just create connect that server Uh, second server then we have connect this mail server now you gonna connect this PC 0 gonna connect this PC <coughs> 1 
now we are going to connect the pc number three right so currently these are green and these are oranges i think you are aware this term orange means the network is configuring itself let's wait for a while okay my first one is green so i click on this server dscp i go to the desktop and go to the ip configuration that dscp server itself i need to give a static ip for that let's say i give the ip 192.168.1.1 by default it will get the subnet mask now default gateway by default 0, 0.0.0 by default gateway is 0 because we are only going to connect through the switch we are not going to use the router we have already done experimentation with the routers right i gonna talk about it within a network okay dns that's quite new thing uh 192.168.1.2 i give the ip to the dns server next ip then the uh dscp server right i'm gonna save it then go to these services on services you will see the option of dscp and dscpv6 which option we are going to use we are going to use the dscp why because we are going to uh, use the ipv4 protocol so what it will show it will show the start ip 192.168.10.55.55.0 why because we have given the static ip for that particular dscp services so what i can do i will go and put the services on and interface is fast ethernet by default whatever wire it is used default gateway is always 0 0.0 0.0.0 right and what is my dns i'm gonna take the 192.168.1.2 i hope you understand this term right in that particular network i have created and i'll use the dns 192.168.1.2 now start ip 192.61.0 subnet mask is this maximum number of users that can connect with this server is 255 now forget about this tftp and wlc i'm gonna save it right now what you're gonna see in this server pool default gateway here i'm gonna check the server pool default start ip is this subnet mask is this and maximum number of users is this i'm gonna connect this one right now after saving this uh, i can go to the dns server and go to the desktop click on the ip configuration now you'll see the two options static and dscp now i have configured this dscp i'll click on dscp what it will show requesting for ip address and there's a message on screen dscp request successful that means what it has requested for ip and they have assigned ip address 192.61.2 subnet mask is this one default gateway is zero and dns is 192.68.1.2 this particular device is acting as dns server i gonna go on the services i can go for the dns and put the services on i hope you understand this stuff right now my this is working as a dns server right now i need to assign ip address to the old devices connected with my system first i'll do that i go on dscp asking for ip it is going to give a IP 192.168.1.3 for this <coughs> particular mail server. Go to the services and uh, this option of email. Now uh, uh, they are already in own condition SMTP. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol that is going used to send the mail. POP stands for Post office protocol that is used to receive the mail right they are already in on condition there's no need to change we can come back soon now go to the pc and go to the desktop go to the ip configuration and dscp now what it will do they have given the ip address 192.61.0 subnet mask default gateway is zero dns 192.61.2 i hope you understand 1.4 now when we click on the next one 
it will give the by default IP uh, what is next IP 1.5 right this is how DSCP work that is dynamic host configuration protocol and go to the desktop go to the IP configuration DSCP requesting for IP address I hope you understand the term DSCP so DSCP is what we have the DSCP dynamic host configuration protocol it is going to assign a dynamically IP address to the old servers and old pieces in a network right I hope you understand then we have the domain name server now domain name server I have already uh, uh, described about this domain it is going to convert the particular address into the IP address or IP address into a particular address so let's say I am going to configure the mail server for that right and I have configured the mail server I go to the email now this is the server I'll use the domain name with the name of <clears throat> let's say gmail.com I'll create my own mail right gmail click on set now let's say gmail.com is my domain name what is my IP address IP address of this mail server which is the IP address 192 uh, this one is the IP address for this one 192.168.1.3 that is IP address for this mail server and what is domain name of this that is gmail.com right gmail.com now username and password let's say i want to create two users let's say with the name of ram password is 123 click on this plus button then i click on the other user sham password is 123 so what we have done till now we have enabled this as a mail server this mail server has a ip address that is 192.168.1.3 gateway oh sorry dns 192.168.1.2 now put the smtp services on put the pop services on domain name is gmail username password we have created two user ram and sham with the uh, password of 123 right i hope you understand now go to this dns now in this dns go to this dns uh, I'll put the DNS services on then what will happen whenever it find any request with the gmail.com with the domain of gmail.com it will redirect that request to which address 192.168.1.3 1 1.3 is what this is address of mail server so I'll put on add it will create entry serial uh, with the name of gmail.com type record and detail is 192.161.3 so what will be the task of domain name server the task of domain name server is to map gmail.com with this particular ip and this ip with the gmail.com i think you understand right okay now <clears throat> we'll go on this particular pc and we have already enabled it and go on this option of email right I gonna configure this email first let's say this is sign up process sign up process let's say uh, my name is Ram and email Ram at the rate gmail.com I think you understand this term Ram Ram at the rate gmail.com so what is my incoming email server gmail.com what is my output gmail.com right what is the username password that is given in the mail server ram password is one two three save this data right i'll go to the another pc i'm gonna configure the email let's say i give the name sham sham at the rate gmail.com incoming mail server is gmail.com outgoing mail server is gmail.com and password is sham 
and uh, username is bar sham password is one two three and i'm gonna save it all right now you will see us on screen compose reply receive configure email we have already configured the email let's i compose the email we are currently on sham i gonna i want to mail to the ram at the rate gmail.com subject is hello let's I'll give the message stay at home and stay safe we all are aware about this right click on the send now go on the downstream what it is to what it will show sending mail to ram at the red gmail with subject this mail server gmail.com dns result obviously gmail.com it goes to the dns right now what dns will do resolving name gmail.com by querying to dns server 192.168.1.2 and then dns resolve the ip and send this request to 192.168.1.3 right 1.2 is address for dns server 1.3 is address for mail server and send is successful that is how it works then we'll go to the first pc and go for the mail server they have option compose reply receive i click on receive so what it is going to show there's a mail from sham at the rate gmail.com with the subject this received on this time then go the downstream what you are saying this time receiving mail from pop earlier send is with the name of smtp simple mail received with the help of pop server gmail.com dns resolving the resolving name gmail.com by querying dns server then address, ip address of dns dns resolved ip ip address of mail server and mail received successfully so this is how it will work so so what we have discussed in today's lecture what is dscp server what is dns server and what is uh like uh, mail server so so you all have the home assignment what you gonna do you have to make a network in which you will create two different mail server one with the name of gmail one with the name of yahoo mail right then take two pc configure one as gmail one as yahoo and communicate between gmail and yahoo use your brain if you have any query uh we are going to use a method google classroom just put a query over there or you all have my number you can also call me right hope you are able to understand if you feel any kind of query i'm available you are going to call me right you can call me anytime thank you